Welcome back guys, this is Jake from Jake's Offshore Adventures. We are here in Isle Morada, Florida, and uh, we just came up from our first and only dive of the day. It's uh, my friend Joey's last day here in the Keys, and uh, we're gonna take you along on this dive. We also been uh, out the past couple days and did really good, so uh, this video is basically gonna be one dive mixed in with a few other dives uh, from his trip. We shot a lot of fish, I think we did five dives this whole trip, and uh, each dive we've come up with a haul of fish. And uh, hope you guys enjoy this episode. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry I'm going to start uploading a lot more. But stay tuned. Subscribe because we have a lot of this coming your way. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Welcome back underwater, guys. This is Jake again. Sorry it's been a while since I've been on the old YouTube. But it's been a busy summer and lots of charters, so not really a lot of filming. I try to focus on the customers and not so much on filming, but it's winter time down here in the Keys. The spear fishing is good, and it's time to throw the camera back on and make some videos for you guys. So right now is a really good time to hit that subscribe button, and uh, I'm just gonna let the clip play out, and hope you guys enjoy. So some of you guys may watching have been out with me and know exactly what wreck this is and you guys know that when you come diving in the winter time down here in the Keys this wreck can be pretty productive. So definitely book a charter with me and uh, we'll take you out to this wreck and shoot some fish. Nice yellow jack comes in. I told Joey to pass on it. Uh, I wanted to kind of swim around the wreck a little bit more, see what was down there. Sometimes you don't want to blow your first shot right away. Something better might be down there that you may spook. Um, but if you guys saw, that fish had been shot at already. So if you guys remember that shot and that fish, you'll see Joey ends up shooting it later on in this video. So fast forward a little bit. Uh, we ended up not seeing too much towards the middle of the wreck, so we swam to the other side, and I ended up seeing this really nice school of bait hanging out on the end of the wreck. And usually, all that bait on the wreck, usually there's a nice grouper hanging around. So I'm scanning around, and if you guys are watching this on your TV, you might be able to see it, but there's a nice black grouper right there, uh, slowly swimming under that wreck. So I know it's game time right now. I'm gonna take my time, take my last breath of air, and slowly swim towards this fish. So when a black grouper tends to rock up, if they swim into the piece of structure slowly, um, they're usually gonna hang around there, and they think they're safe. So I wanna have my gun ready when I roll that edge. As you can see here, I have it ready, I take my shot, and I hit that fish straight in the head so I know I have a good holding shot, and the next thing I wanna do is pull on that fish as hard as I can to try to keep it from running into that structure. So I grabbed that fish by its throat. At that point, I got control over the fish and it's pretty much secured. Made sure Joey was okay and I turn around and there's two really nice bull sharks circling us. So first thing I do is I swim back towards the wreck, keep my eyes on them, using that wreck to my advantage, having that to my back as protection. Uh, the sharks don't really like to get close too close to that wreck. So if you use that wreck as protection, uh, you, you kind of control the situation a little bit better. Thank <laughs> you. 
this is one of those situations where you're glad you're diving with a good buddy. Uh, Joey's doing a good job keeping an eye on those sharks and pointing his gun on them while I string up this fish so we can continue our dive. So while I'm braining this fish, I'm also keeping an eye on the sharks. You never want to just keep your back turned to them. That's when they will take advantage of you. Uh, I start to bleed this fish. Uh, I actually am taking the shaft out right now. And instead of using a knife, you'll see here in a sec, I actually use my fingers to help continue the bleeding process on the other side of this fish's gills. So Joey here sees a really nice black grouper. He's trying to get my attention to make sure it's a legal one. It's definitely legal and once he sees that I see it and I start to kind of swim towards it and engage in it, he knows it's good. So he takes his time here, lines up a nice shot right before it goes under that structure and uh, lands a nice shot in this fish. And right here, he actually swims up over the prop of that boat. And as you can see right here, there's a goliath that's going to shoot out under there. And right now, this fish is struggling. I do not want to stick my hand in there. So what I do actually is I take a shot past the fish to try to spook that goliath from coming in. And then I grab the fish as fast as I can. So right now, just Brandon Joey's first black grouper. Super awesome. He's been down with me a bunch and... To get his first black grouper, that's awesome. You can see we're pretty stoked there. But little did we know, the dive was not over. We get up to the top of the wreck, we reload our guns and notice that we're pretty low on air, so it's time to go up. But that same fish with the hole in the side of it swims up to us. I tell Joey to shoot it. Puts a real nice shot in this yellow jack. So Joey's reeling in his fish. At this point, I see these two Goliaths making their way over. So right now, I'm just trying to defend his fish for him. So what's about to happen uh, is pretty crazy. Usually, pretty crazy things happen at the end of deep dives when you're low on air. But I do not suggest doing this, especially if you don't have the right gear. But I had a real gun and Joey's securing his yellow jack here and a nice African pompano swims up and I do not hesitate to take the shot. So right here, I tell Joey to go up. I don't want my bad decision of shooting an African pompano with low air to risk his life uh, for me. So I take off for this fish and start to fight it as I ascend. Like I said, I have that real gun. I can let that fish run if needed. It's not gonna drag me down. Luckily, I had a good shot and I was able to secure this fish pretty easily. So I get that fish into me, and as you can see by the debris kind of floating by, there's some decent current on this wreck. I actually grabbed this fish, and he kicked me all the way back to the line, so I didn't have to use any energy getting back to the line, which was awesome. Good little fish bump to end the dive. We uh, ended up going out super rough weather. We we're just sitting on the couch and we're like, let's just go out for one dive. We'll go out to the wreck. We'll hook up to the ball. We'll put two lines on. And little did we know, we're actually just gonna have an awesome day. One dive, big haul of fish. Joey's bringing home all this fish to his friends and family and I hope they enjoy it back home. Heck yeah!
Dude, holy crap, look at this haul, Joey. You shot your first black grouper, too. Here you go. Yeah! Hold that up, buddy. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Dive number one, and the only dive of the day. <laughs> and we didn't bring that much ice because Joey spilt it. <laughs> we got some in the beach. <laughs> so these next clips coming up are gonna be all on Joey's camera. I wasn't filming on these dives. They ended up being pretty productive, so I threw them in here at the end. So I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> So Joey, for some reason, likes to get really close to fish to see how close he can get. Uh, he ended up poking this red grouper. Luckily, they aren't that smart. And uh, he actually took a swimming away shot and still stoned it, so I was pretty impressed by that one. This next clip might be hard to watch, but three black grouper come out of nowhere. Joey ended up taking too early of a shot, but luckily I was able to chase one down and get a shot in one. So you heard me take that shot right there. That fish swam pretty far, swam up under this piece of structure into a really small hole. So it was pretty hard to get out with his gills flared out. So it took me a minute or two to get this one out. Luckily, Joey was watching out for me reloading his gun and I was able to secure this fish. Nice grouper to add to the stringer. Here we're uh, coming up, we're swimming along and I see a grouper off in the sand blended in with a piece of structure. And if you don't have a good eye for it, they can be really hard to see. I know Joey said he didn't see it, but I was able to put a nice holding shot in that fish and keep him out of that structure there. So this fish ended up being a nice 25 pounder, so I was pretty stoked at this. And uh, after this, it was pretty much time to go up, but we still ended up shooting a nice yellow jack after, so stay tuned for that. Now Joey didn't get the beginning of this clip, but here's that yellow jack I shot. A school just came up to me as I was reloading my gun on the way up to the surface and I couldn't resist. So ended up getting some extra meat for this dive and uh, next dive we actually have a really cool clip for you guys. We're down in another wreck and a school African pompano swam right up to us and we tried to double up on him. I tried to time it right. But unfortunately, Joey was just a little too slow on this one, and I ended up getting another African popping up for the trip. That's about it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It was an awesome time having Joey down as always and we had a pretty good trip. So here's a couple of pictures to end off the video and remember to guys like, comment, and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.